This is the Cuspo BC107. This is a cycling computer uh, with GPS. I'm gonna show some of the features of it. There it is right there, and everything that comes in the box along with it. So there it is, you see there. We're gonna dive into some of those features that it has and how you turn them on. So in the box comes the uh, GPS unit itself. And then to charge it, it comes with a USB cable, the micro USB cable right here. Underneath this little uh, tab right here is where you charge it. And this thing right here will be used uh, to lock it in to the, uh, the handlebar mount. So there it is, the unit itself. And we'll dive into that here in a second. Let me show you what's all in it. In the box is a handlebar mount with numerous uh, straps, depending upon the size of the bars you're using. There's also another handlebar mount if you want to mount the unit out in front of the bars. You put the bar through here. These uh, pieces right here, depending upon the thickness of the bars you're using, uh, can help it grip it better after cinching it down. It comes with a 2.5 millimeter Allen wrench. And this is where the computer uh, will mount to. Comes with a provided USB to micro USB for charging purposes. So obviously everything I'm explaining in here is in the user's manual that comes along with it. This is both front and back talking about the different programs and how you can connect it. And before we dive into um, using the computer, this is how you would attach it then. It's just a simple click and turn like that. And both mounts, um, either the handlebar mount um, like this with it out front or the other mount um, does the same thing. It's just a simple click on the back and it spins and turns. So you can take this off and carry it with you, bring it inside to charge it, and this would stay on the, the bike. So it's pretty easy to set up. There's only three buttons along the bottom here. And you see right here, on, off, the stop, the start, and the setting button right there. So to turn it on, it's just a quick punch of the on and off button you'll see all like the LCD screen display. You're going to see up in the left hand corner here, the fully charged um, icon or how much battery is left in it. And then the satellites and if it's connected or not to uh, the satellite. So when you first start it up outside, um, let it sit in place for about two minutes um, and you can uh, acquire all the GPS um, satellites needed there. So holding down the setting button, you'll see P1 come up, P2, P3, P4, P5, and then back to one. So holding it down on P1, long hold on the setting button, and now you can set these fields in here. And then to get out, you just push the, the on off button again. So let's move on to P2. P2 is setting the wheel size. If you have a uh, Bluetooth or ant um, sensor hooked up to it. And by doing so, you're going to want to set the wheel size. There's a guide inside the instructions on how to set the wheel size or um, what, what wheel size you're using to what number you will need to put in there. So once again, holding it down to get into P3. P3 is going to set the time of day. And the back out of it again, just push the on off button. Let's go into P4. P4, you're going to be able to switch between uh, miles per hour or kilometers per hour, depending upon how you want to read that. Back out again. 
and then now into P5. And P5 is going to be your power, or if you have a watt meter hooked up to it. So once again, backing out of there. So there's your P1, P2, P3, P4, P5. And backing out of there. So on the home screen here, you're going to see the miles per hour, the temperature outside, the time of day. I've set this one for miles per hour, so that, that is up in there now. And then when you start um, your workout, you'll want to hit the start button. And it will gather the time that you're working out and the distance. So there it goes. It's going to give you a countdown to 3, 2, 1. And then your workout would have started. You're going to see like some blinking there in the, uh, the, the time. And that's all set there. Once again, it's going to show like the gradient of your uh, climbing. It's, so it's going to go auto pause right now because I'm not hooked up on anything, which is nice. So there's no need to um, always worry about stopping your computer or starting it. It will know that already. So at the very end of your program, You want to hit a long hold on the start stop button and there it is. So as you're going along on the home screen, you can scroll to the right and it will show now my average speed. It would show the altitude and then it's going to have on the next screen over pushing that setting button, it's going to go to the max speed. And then also the, the total odometer of the, the full computer, how long it's been on, calories that's been counted, and then your, once again, your percentage of grade. So it is your distance, your grade, and then your time on the back on the home screen. So at any time you can scroll through if you, what you want to be looking at while you're writing. And once again, up on top, you have the, the temperature outside and the time of day. And then obviously, like up in the left-hand corner there, your battery and your satellites if you're connected. So a long hold on the on-off button down here in the left-hand corner will turn it off. So there it is. A quick explanation of some of the, uh, the settings and how to get to them in the Cuspo BC-107 cycling computer. It's a handy little unit, um, very light, um, and has a lot of information there. You can connect it to a heart rate monitor, which I have not yet, but I will. And if I can show you on here, that's what's going to show up in the bottom left that I don't have lit up right there. Let me show you on the home. The uh, So it's going to show your heart rate. And it's also going to show your cadence. Once again, if I had a power meter hooked up to it or um, a cadence uh, sensor back on the, the um, pedals. So there it is. The BC-107 by Cuspo. There is an app that you can download for your smartphone for both Android and Apple. And it's very nice and easy to use. Um, it's going to record and download if you want to upload to Strava um, your ride stats. It's going to show them all um, the distance. So it's going to have a track, the chart. It's going to tell you your speed, altitude, your slope, and the temperature outside, and then your data. So if you want to know your maximum speed, average speed, your cadence, your heart rate and your power. Those are all pulled down into the app after your ride. You can track those and you can upload those to Strava from there. So there it is. Great little app that accompanies with it and can attach to uh, the BC 107 very easily.